Welcome to Next Patch Tech, where we open some of the brand new tech that is coming out in 2023. So I just received this package, and you might recognize it as one of our newer power supplies. Uh, this is going to be popular among people that have a 40 series graphics card. Why? Well, number one, because it's from a very popular PSU brand. And number two, becomes it comes with a dedicated 12 volt high power connector on it. So real quick, we'll go ahead and get this box out of the way. And we'll give you a look at what we're talking about here. So this right here is going to be the Vertex GX 1200. It is ATX 3.0, PCI 5.0 ready. And we're going to go ahead and open it up, see what comes included in the box. So just looking at the box, we've got an 80 plus gold certified uh, power supply. It is 90% efficiency at 50% load, which is great. And it's supposed to be one of those smaller designs. So I'm actually really excited to open this up because I got a 4090 a little while ago. It's one of the MSI, uh, MSI, the one with the radiator. The Liquid X, Supreme Liquid X. All right, so inside the box, we see that you get a $50 Steam card. That's pretty cool. Actually, enter for a chance to win a $50 Steam card, so not exactly a free giveaway. You, of course, get your uh, instructions on the 12 volt high power. We wanna make sure that we plug it in all the way, otherwise you may actually uh, result in burning up your 12 volt high power cable definitely don't want to experience that even though most of the companies are supporting it uh, saying that if you do burn up your cables they they will either replace the cables and it go as far as replacing the actual GPU itself so that's actually good that we've come out of this era of being in fear but still unless you want to be without you know your computer for a while I would recommend just seating it all the way in and this is going to be our ins installation guide which I think it's pretty self-exclamatory. Find uh, the cable you need, plug it in. Uh, it is, of course, uh, going to be pretty simple to figure out what cables you're going to need. So this is actually pretty girthy here, the size of this cable right here. Last time I saw one like this, it was actually on an EVGA 1600 watt titanium cable. So that's actually pretty beefy. So we'll go ahead and put our power cable there. Then, okay, so it comes with a 24 pin jumper cable or 24 jumper adapter, that's pretty cool. Especially since we are gonna be doing a water, cool, water cooled build pretty soon, so that'll actually come in handy. Now I've always been a fan of uh, power supplies coming with this little bag, just because say if you're not using it and you need to put it up you know, in the storage area for a while. This actually keeps it safe, clean, and dust-free. So, big fan of having these little pouches uh, that actually just hold the power supply. Also keeps it from getting scratched up. All right, so removing this, well, I don't know. This actually looks pretty big. Um, let me see if I can grab something to compare this to because this, to me, actually looks fairly large. But just to be certain, we're going to go ahead and grab another power supply off the shelf really quick and just compare the two. So let me set this down right here. We'll put this over here in the right corner and I will be right back. So, say hello, and I know I mentioned this earlier, this is my EVGA 1600T2. So, in comparison, I don't know if you can see this very well, but this new PSO, PSU ends right here, and I've got about this much extra space that completes the 1600T2. 
So I'm actually wrong. This is actually not so long. I would say this is about 220 millimeters. So this one, let's see if it specifies on the box, should be about 180 millimeters. Let's see. 135 millimeter. So actually not too bad. Let's go ahead and put this away. And we'll focus back on the Seasonic Vertex. All right, so we're gonna set this to the side real quick. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these cables. Again, another one of these nifty little pouches. This is to store your cables. I've gotten to the point where I have so many power supplies, keeping the cables separately has become uh, pretty important. Definitely don't want to be plugging in cable to go to a different power supply into uh, a different brand of power supply. It could cause problems. Uh, you could have your PSU malfunction, overheat. Any number of problems can happen when you plug in the wrong cables to a PC that it doesn't go to. All right, so what comes in the box is we've got our Molex cables right here. Looks like SATA cables. We've got another set of SATA cables. And guys, look at this sleeving. This is really nice sleeving. I was thinking that I was gonna have to purchase a cable mod set with this set, this PSU, and I might actually be wrong. These are some very nice cables, very thin. Normally when you buy a custom set of PSU cables, they're actually fairly thick, and I've never really liked that. I mean, yeah, they look great in your case, but when it comes to cable management, they don't really help too much. They either get, a, get knotted or they get bent out of shape. And these look like they're pretty flexible. They'll bend whatever way you want to. But if you ever need to bend them back, they, they will hold. So that's very neat. Maybe at best get some, well, I don't know. You would need to get some very thin cable combs for these. But again, just looking at the quality of these cables, very, very nice. I, I swear, if I'm, I wasn't taking them out of the box right now, I'd swear they were custom PSU cables. All right, going into our next bag, we're going to go ahead and set these aside next to the PSU. Let's see, we've got a, this looks like an 8-pin, eight, 8 plus 6, PCIe, this is going to be, and look, it's actually got, so it designate what side goes where. So this is gonna be the side that goes to the PSU, and this is the side that would go to the graphics card. So I know I had seen a question on the forum, someone was asking, hey, for these uh, 12 volt high power cables, is there a side that needs to go to the power supply? Does it matter? Or is either side fine? And it looks like these pretty much have the label as to what goes where. This is gonna be our, our uh, CPU eight, po eight pin power, and this is gonna be the CPU side. This is gonna be the side that goes to the PSU. We've got another PCIe. This is gonna be eight on eight, so, nope, I'm wrong, eight, eight on six. Here is the 12 volt high power. So let's take a look here really quick just to see if it shows which side goes to the PSU and which side goes into the graphics card. And from what I can see on here, actually both ends look like they're identical, except for one has an N on it. So if you look right here, this has an N on it right there. And this one on this side has nothing. So I would actually have to look that up. I'm not entirely sure what the N means, um, but we can find out in just a second. So here's gonna be our 24 pin cable. And last but not least, we've got one more CPU. Okay. So just totaling this out, we got one 24 pin. We've got a total of two CPU. We've got three PCIe. We've got one 12 volt high power. We've got two SATA. We've got actually three SATA. <laughs> Wrong again, four SATA, five SATA total of five different SATA cables and then one set of Molex. We of course got that jumper and then we've got the power cable right there.
course it comes with these nice little baggies for both uh, the cables as well as the PSU unit so that's very nice and then it comes with this set of cable ties and it looks like we've got cable ties as well as velcro straps so you get a little bit of both now as far as that end on the high power uh, cable Let's see, because I know in the documentation it had one specifically for that 12 volt high power. Let's see if it says anything about the N on there. So let's see, current market, 12 volt, can melt. <laughs> okay, so it literally says on here, uh, VGA power socket can lead to higher electrical resistance, which leads to excessive heat generation that can melt the plastic parts. Uh, two recent videos on the topics made by Eris of Hardware Busters is one of the le leading technical power supply testers out there today. It gives you both of the YouTube sites right there. So if you want, you can go ahead and go there and watch that. And, you know, just like, just like the person in the forum said, it does not say. It's very important that after the connectors are properly in place, not to bend the cable or exert any unnecessary force onto the connectors anymore either at the power supply or the VGA end. Make sure the connectors are properly seated and the latch on the connector is engaged and locked into place with a click. Carefully insert the connector into the power supply and the VGA. Carefully use heats gently, carefully use a gentle heat source such as a hairdryer to carefully heat the area of the cable that you wish to bend. That's interesting. I've never heard of that before. So they're actually saying go ahead and uh, use a gentle heat source such as a hair dryer to carefully heat the area of the cable where you wish to make a bend and that's that's on the 12 volt high power cable and then finally disconnect the 12 volt high power cable from the power supply and the VGA card so as far as the documentation shows it doesn't really say what the end on that 12 volt high power cable is and that again is going to be this guy right here so you've got two different ends. This one is the bare end. And then you've got this other end over here, except this one has an N on it. So, you know, I was thinking maybe neutral. <laughs> that's probably not right at all, but you know, that's what I was thinking. And uh, that about does it for today. Thank you for, for joining me here for this unboxing. Uh, this again was gonna be the Seasonic PX1200. And uh, if you've looked on Newegg, you, you're probably seeing sold out. You know, I just kind of got lucky when, when I saw this uh, come available. I went ahead and I ordered two of them. Uh, one of them's going to be for the, uh, any graphics card in the future is going to be using that 12 volt high power standard. So I figured I might as well get two of them now, just so that I'm covered in the future. Uh, but other than that, guys, I will see you next time. This again is Next Patch Tech, and I hope you have a great day.